What's up, YouTube? It's been a minute since I dropped a story. You know, my last story was about my homeboy who came out. Um, you know, I keep in touch with him every now and then. Homeboy doing good, you know. He basically out of the closet now with his with his sexuality. He's doing good for himself. He living and maintaining, you feel me? So for all those who be commenting on the video, like, how you doing, how you doing? He good. We keep in contact every now and then, you know on social media and whatnot. You know, he's doing good for himself. But I got another story for y'all. Another story. Crazy story. All right, so I'm going to jump right into it. I um, I had met this girl. I had met this girl um, during my high school years. Met her in the city. Cool down to earth chick. Um, her name was uh, Josephina. I met Josephina, I think, my sophomore maybe sophomore, junior year, but in between, in between, it was summertime. Um, Josephine, she is gay. She is gay. I mean, she likes girls all the way. As far as I know, that's what she liked, and that's how I met her. Um, when I first met Josephine, it was like um, at a block party. I was mobbing around through one of the peas with my bro, me and him just mobbing, you know, checking out the scenery and whatever and i bumped into her at first i thought she was a nigga i thought she was a dude I'm not even gonna hold you i thought she was a dude because she was dressed like a dude kind of find out she's a whole time boy so i'm like oh my fault you know what i mean as i bumped into her she's like, oh my bad because she was as she was as i bumped into her she was backing up and she was trying to holler at a girl whatever the situation looked like it i was like my fault my fault she turned around my fault and i kept going you know i walked past her me and my mans kept going End up seeing her again about two, three hours later. Um, she walked up to both of me and my men. And she was like, yo, yo you know, y'all got papers? Because she smoked or whatever. So my man, you know, he was like, yeah, I got papers. Ah, da, da, da. So they exchanged. And she smoked with us. Whatever, whatever. She smoked a little, smoked a little weed with us. You know what I'm saying? So got acquainted with her. Um, she was like, oh, my name. She was like, my name. My name Jay. No. She was like, my name is Joe. Joe. So I'm like, Joe, that's short for something? And she was like, short for Josephina, but I like to be called Joe, or whatever, whatever. So I'm like, right, that's cool. That's what's up. You feel me? That's what's up. Nice to meet you, whatever. I told her my name. My man told her name. And she was just telling us about some of the, you know, she was from that hood we was in. So she was from over there. She was like, what y'all doing over here? Just posted up chilling. I said, yeah, this is what we do. We mob around, check out the hood, see what it's good and for us, you know, for some girls type of shit. You know, we just vibing. She was like, I fuck with y'all, fuck with y'all, fuck with y'all, whatever, whatever. So she was like, what y'all doing after this? And so I was like, we got a party we mom into. Oh, she was like, word, word, where the party at? I was like, um, you got to get a ticket. So, I, you know, I basically told her, this, like, you got to get a ticket, shorty. I don't know if you want to pay at the door. She's like, I don't mind paying at the door. If anything, I don't mind paying at the door. I don't want to just be in the hood. So we told her where the party was, gave her the address. Um, she added me on social media. You feel me? And she was like, what time y'all heading there? What time y'all heading there? I was like, you know, we're going to head there around like 11 or whatever, whatever. So she was like, I was like, yo, just meet us there. Anything. You got the address. Just meet us there. So she basically get there before us. You feel me? And we get into the party. She bought her ticket at the door. And being that she was a girl, I guess they didn't realize she was a girl because they charged her nigga price. She was dressed like a whole nigga and they charged her a whole nigga price, bro. I'm like, oh, that's just crazy. Like, you can't tell she got titties, man. Like, the security, like, yo, I, the security looked at me like, bro, I thought that was a whole nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. I was like, oh, damn, you really dressed down to the T. She like, yeah, you know. I'm like, it's cool. It's whatever. You know, because we vibe with shorty. Shorty mad chill. Like, you know, it was just a vibe. We chilling. uh uh he in a party with her. We chilling. She's moving in the room. She get in the party. She posted up with us for like a good 30 minutes before she dipped off on us. She dipped on us and then moved around the room. She moved around the room, came back. She had one shorty in her arm. I'm like, damn, that was fast, bro. She was, he was like, yo, facts. She had a whole shorty on her arm. So I'm like, where you get that girl from? I'm like, over there, type it up. She thought I was cute. I'm like, oh, all so, all right. She had one girl. That one girl brought five other girls back to us. So it's me, my mans, and her, Joe. And her, and her other five friends came over. So it's a total of six girls with us. You feel me? Chilling. Uh, they like, oh, what y'all doing over here? Y'all chilling. I said, we posted up. We chilling. We vibing. 
My man go get us some drinks. You know what I'm saying? He come back with the drinks. You know what I mean? Pop drinks. I right. The shorty she was with that she snagged up, bought her a drink. She was already buzzed. She was already buzzed. Party getting packed. It's getting lit. I got my drink. My man got his drink. He rolling up. The girls is shitty. They see him rolling up. Now they want to stick around because they thought we was just on some wicked shit. So if they stuck around when they see him pull out the weed. One of her other homegirls, one of the girls, she pulls out her weed. She like, oh, you roll? I, I, can you roll my weed? So he ended up rolling two L's. He ended up rolling three L's. He rolled two L's for us and he rolled her one L. And like three of her other friends smoked. So he rolled up them L's or whatever. I was like, boy, don't take all day because you know girls is impatient. I had to tell him like girls is impatient. He's like, I know, I know. I'm going to roll hers first and then I'm going to roll mine. I was like, all right, you smart. You smart. He rolled her L, whatever. She wasn't feeling the way he was rolling it. I was just like, then sure you could have just rolled your own shit. Be perfectly honest with you, you could have just rolled your own shit. If you ain't like you could have rolled your own shit. Anyway, but she was like, it's hitting though, it's hitting. So all her friends jump on the L. So when he rolled his two L's, she was just like, can I hit yours too? Like, because I want to see what kind of we. I'm like, we ain't even hit your way. We ain't even hit your way. She like, I mean, I can jump on it, I can jump on it. I ain't want to jump on a weed. I seen my man roll it, but I ain't know where these girls' lips been, so I ain't want to jump on a weed. I said, I'm good. I'm going to just stay on over here. I'm going to stay to myself on this one. So, smoking my mans. They smoked. They jumped on the L. After I got a few hits of the L, he let them have it. He was like, I don't, I don't want it no more. He felt the same way I felt, so... The girls was dancing. We caught, we all caught, me and my man caught dances. Me and, you know, Joe caught dances. We chilling, we vibing. Shorty was on Joe now. She on her body, heavy. I'm like, oh, you can't let that one go. So the girls end up going, they separate way because they seen a couple people they knew. So they all went, they separate way. The shorty Joe snagged up was here for a while. She stayed for a little minute, chopped it up. Then, then she finally dipped off. Her nigga came in the party. And when her nigga came in the party, she did this. She did a double take. Oh, and got missing when I was saying nothing. She drove to her. I was like, yo, what's good? Like, she got missing. You know that moment when y'all girls see the nigga in the party. I ain't even supposed to be there. Y'all get missing. Y'all get the... Yeah, she did one of those. Joe was like, what the... Joe was stuck. So, we still in the party. Uh, party jumping. We had a good time. Then a fight break out. So, I'm like, yeah, you know what time it is, bro. It's time to pack up. Once the fight broke out, it fucked up the whole vibe. I don't know about some of y'all, but when a fight break out in a party, especially when I'm enjoying myself, it fuck up the whole vibe. It will fuck up the whole vibe. Like, you just got to go now. So we end up leaving. She went her way. No, I end up, I, I ain't told her I drove. I drove to the party. You feel me? I drove to the party. And she was just like, yo, I'm about to go catch her. I said, yo, I can give you a ride to the crib. It's, it's about two o'clock in the morning. I'll give you a ride to the crib or drop you close. She like, nah, nah, nah. I said, nah, boy. Come on. You came with us. Come on. So I dropped her close to her crib. Then she hit me up on social media. And, you know, as time went on, she kept really hitting me up. She kept showing the boy love on social media, you know, following my videos and all that. Oh, when you coming, when you coming back, when you popping back out. I, I, so I be telling her, like, yo, I'll pop out. I'm going to let you know, you know. And every time I popped out, she wanted to link up. She wanted to pop out with the guy. So, you know, we went to City Island at one point. She went, me and my cousins, not to City Island, mobbed out there. Um, and we became close. You know, she was on some real cool friendship type shit. So I looked at her as a friend. I looked at her like as one of the bros. I ain't look at her like, oh, she another girl. I looked at her like one of the bros. Like I dap her up and all that. You know, as time went on and shit, you know, we just became real, real close and all that. And... She was like, yo, pull up to my crib. I ain't doing shit. I ain't doing shit. Pull up to the crib. I'm like, you don't never invite a nigga to the crib. Because normally when I pull up on you, she's already outside. Because she lived in a pee, so she already be outside. Plus, it's summertime, so who want to be in the crib? She was in the crib, I guess, again, with somebody in her crib. I think it was one of her brother or somebody. So I pull up to the crib type shit. And she was just like, I don't think I want to go nowhere because I just got into a bad mood with my brother, whatever, whatever. So I was like, why would you ask me to come upstairs if you get into it with your family? I don't want to be around that. I, I could have waited downstairs for you. You feel me? Like She's like, nah, nah. Like My mother be wanting to know who I be out partying with. I be told I be with you and all that. I show her pictures of you and all that. She was like, come up. He's, he's cute. 
whatever, whatever. And I'm like, your mother said that? She was like, yeah, yeah. And then she had a sister, an older sister. Um, Shorty was fire too. Like she looked real good, thick and all that. And she was at the crib at the time because her sister didn't live with her. It was just her mom and her brother. And I came to the crib and the mother already knew who I was once I came to the door. Like, she's like, oh, you such and such, Frank. Please come in. Please come in. Mind you, she's Spanish. Her name is Josephine. She's Spanish. So her mother was like, oh, it's nice to finally meet you. You know, uh, uh. Then the brother she was arguing with came through. Like, yo, who this nigga? Like, the mother was like, go sit down. Go sit down. That's Josephine, Frank. I'm like, Josephine? Oh, that's, that's right. That's her real name. She's like, man, let me call out my government. Like, I don't want anybody to know my government. I was like, too late. I already know. I already know. Hang it up. She said, come, come, come to the room. Come to the room. I don't want you to be out there. Then her brother like, yo, he ain't going in no room. She like, shut up, boy. Mind your business, boy. Mind you, I ain't look at this girl like she fire and all that. She was one of the bros. I pull up to the crib. She was in a tank top and some basketball shirts with a do rag on. Shut up, do rag. You feel me? As I'm walking towards her room, her sister was in, like, it was in one room. And I'm walking past. I caught a glimpse of her. I'm like, damn. She was thick. Like, she had her own booty shorts and a t-shirt. Her booty was sticking out, them shorts. And she's like, that's just my sister, man. That's just my sister. I was like, your sister's damn. She's like, yo, someone look at my sister. That's nasty, bro. And then her sister's like, he could look. He sure can look. I'm like, oh, there it is. She's like, nah, bro. And then she kind of like just grabbed my shoulder. Like, come on, come on. So I'm like, yo, what's good? Like, why you ain't dressed? We popping out. We popping out. It's a couple, you know, block parties we could hit. We mobbing out. We're waiting and all that. So she like, I ain't want to go. Uh, uh. Like, me and her got so close. And she got so close with my bro. I looked at her like the bros. Like, I keep saying, like, like yo. She was like, I ain't got no bread to do nothing. I'm like, yo, if you ain't got it, we got you. You feel me? We got you. You need to eat. Niggas got you. If you want to drink, niggas got you. You know what I'm saying? We need to go cop a bottle, mob around. You good. Like, she's like, nah, nah, nah. She like me. She ain't like people paying for her. She's like me. I'm like that too. But I understand when I ain't got it, but my man still want me to go with him, pop out, because he don't want to be alone. I'm going to go. You feel me? I'm not going. I'm not one of them dudes that ask for everything. Like, yo, when I'm hungry... All right, bro. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yo, pop out, get dressed. You all in with your brother all day. Come outside. Come on. She was like, all right, Pat. So get dressed, get sitchy, and meet me downstairs. Come on. So she was like, all right. So she jumped in the shower. I did. She was like, you ain't got to leave. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to take a shower. Mind you, I kept telling y'all, I do not look at this girl like that. This girl got so comfortable with me, bro. Mind you. In my mind, she gay. She a dyke. She jumped in the shower. She took a 30-minute shower, 45-minute shower, washed down. Came back in the room with the towel on. I'm like, yo, bro, come on. Like, if you was going to come in, you could have knocked. So I could have dipped or something. She's like, you one of the bros. I don't care. She instantly dropped the towel. Cheeks is out. Titties is out. I seen the kunanis. I seen the kunanis. And I'm like, yo. I'm saying to myself, yo, that girl's really don't shave? Like... She had the bush. She had a little bush. You know what I mean? I'm I'm a dude. I'm a look. Like, and you got the wagon. I ain't want to say nothing, but I'm saying to myself, like, she got the wagon. You know what I mean? She like, she didn't put on regular panties. She put on boys. She put on the boy undies. You feel me? She like, you one of the bros. You one of the bros. You one of the bros. I'm like, come on, bro. Yeah, you one of the bros. Like, if you had a dang, I definitely would have left the room. She like, I'm a girl. Like, you would have left because I'm a girl. Like, I look at you like one of the bros. Then, you know, we dipped out. We ended up linking with my mans and mobbed out. So as time went on, as time went on, you feel me? She started acting a little wicked. She acting, she acting a little funny. Like, she always wanted me to come to her crib and just chill at the crib. She always wanted to be on the phone for long conversations. I'm like, yo, this ain't no relationship. What you doing? Like, she's like, nah, I really fuck with you. I really fuck with you. You the homie. You like, you like one of the realest niggas. I have a fucking guy vibe with. So I'm like, all right, I understand that. I understand that. You know, we vibing. It's friendship. You know, but niggas don't really be on the phone with each other for too long. First of all, I ain't in jail and neither is you. So we shouldn't be on the phone this long. We bros. We can link. You know what I mean? Come to find out, Shorty had a little thing for me. 
And what made this crazy was she low-key like dudes. And I thought it was a gimmick. Like, I had popped up at her crib one day and her mother and her sister was talking when I popped up at the crib. I was at the crib. She was in the room chilling. And her, her mother and sister was in, in another room. So I went in the crib. I was in there for like a good 20 minutes chopping it up. I'm like, yo, where your bathroom? I go to the bathroom. I overhear their conversation talking. And the sister like, yo, you, you think uh, Josephine like that boy? She been always with him. And, and then her mother was like, no, she's into girls. As you can see, her mother was like, nah, mom. She really, I think she really liked that boy. I really think, you know, she likes both genders. So her, sister, her mother's like brushing it off. Like, I was like, I think she likes him. Like, I think she likes him. Plus, he's a cool guy. Like, he probably don't notice, but. And she was like, I'm going to talk to my sister. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. And then as her sister's leaving the room, I jumped in the bathroom. And she's like, you remember last time she, she liked the dude before? Remember? Remember? She liked the dude before. And they dated for a while. And I was like, dated? I go back in the room, I'm like, yo, you used to date a dude? She was like, what you hear that? Where you hear that? She got so defensive. Where you hear that? You know I don't roll that way. You know I get the honeys. You know I get the biddies. Uh. I'm like, chill, bro. I'm just asking. You don't need to snap my neck off, boy. I'm I'm still trying to live. Like, I'm still trying to live. Like, she like, where you hear that? Bro, bro, just sister and your mom talking about, you know, you used to like dudes or whatever. She said, I had a little phase. I had a little phase. It ain't nothing crazy. I thought I was with that, and I ain't like it. I found my calling. So I was like, all right, you got it. I don't want no beef. We cool. Dapped it up. And I left. You feel me? I dapped it up to chill for a little bit. And then I was like, I'm out. I'm going to go snag something up tonight. So she was like, oh, you got to show them. Like, yeah. And when I said that, she kind of felt some type of way. Like, yo, every time you come out, you go with that girl. I'm like, uh, yeah, that's my little honey dip. Yeah, I'm going to go snag on it. Like, <laughs> when you got a little honey dip, I don't say none of you when you dip out. Like, I'm just saying, you couldn't, can't, like, she felt some type of way that I was going to dip with a shorty, you feel me? And I was just like, why are you, bro, like, why are you in your feelings, boy? Like, so her sister come in the room as I'm about to leave. I'm like, oh, bro, why are you in your feelings? Why are you in your feelings? And then when her sister walked in, she like, never mind, never mind. She like, why, what happened? Why are you saying never mind? Because I walked in the room. She bugging out. I told her I'm going to go see my little thing. And she bugging out. She like, her sister like, mm, I wonder why. So I'm guessing her and her sister 212, you know what I mean? They talk or whatever. She's like, yo, I'm going to hit you later. Like, yo, you know, it's a it's a, a situation tomorrow. You popping out with us, right? She's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm just making sure. Let me know what time to scoop you and all that. Her, and her sister 212, and her sister was like right about her. She like dudes too. And what was crazy about it was, you know, in her hood, they knew her. And they was like, you always send that hang with Joe. You send that hang with Joe, like. You know she used to date a nigga, right? I'm like, I ain't know. And then the whole hood started talking to me. Like, niggas to see me out there. Like, Yo, you know she used to date a nigga, right? I'm like, she said she didn't. She said it was a phase. Like, nah, she was really in love with boy. She was really in love with boy. I think she bisexual. I, I. She was really in love with boy. She was really in love with boy. I'm like, what happened to him? Some was abusive or whatever. Some, some crazy shit it was. Kind of find out. She like, man, I was like, I don't really look at her like that. You feel me? Like, she, Josephine was... She was short and thick for her size. She was a short, little, thick girl. She was about five five. She had nice breasts. She had a big booty, and she had a she had a haircut. She was Spanish. She was Spanish, so she had waves. You know what I mean? When you look at her, you don't see a female. You see a whole dude because the way she was dressed and the way she presented herself. So I'm just like, nah. I brushed it off like, nah. I had to tell my man's like, yo, her telling me family trying to throw jabs like, shorty, let me. He even caught on wind to it. He was like, yo, bro, when you was at the party, you was dancing with shorty, she was looking at you, bro. And I'm like, what? Why you ain't say nothing? He was like, bro, I thought you caught wind. I th I'm like, yo, you dead serious, bro? He's like, yeah, I thought you caught wind, bro. If the mother, the mother don't even know it. He's like, the sister know, bro. If the sister know, the sister talked to her. I was like, you right. Shorty probably really feeling you. I said, I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out how. So I faked it. Um, I did a fake, I did a fake situation where I said, yo, I'm not even linking shorty. I'm about to just go crash at a hotel and drink. 
She was like, wow, what happened with Shorty? What happened with Shorty? I'm like, nothing. Uh, I just want to be left alone for the night type shit. So I told her that, and an hour later, she wrote back. She like, yo, what you doing? You good? I'm like, yeah, I'm drinking. You know, I'm on that yak. I'm on that yak right now. I'm tipsy as hell. She like, where you at? Where you at? I'm at the hotel. She like, what hotel you at? She was, I told her the location. I was like, why are you trying to pull up? She like, I mean, if you need some company or something, yeah, I pull up. So I'm like, all right, pull up. Situation. Mind you, I faked this whole situation. I faked being drunk just to see if she'll tell me or she'll come on to me in that type of way. So, I'm at the hotel, regular, regular shit. The bottle's right there so she could see, you know what I mean? It's a little, it's a little empty in there so she could, you know, if I was drinking and I'm in the crib, I'm laid up, I'm watching TV, she pull up. When she pulled up, right, she pulled up in baggy clothes, like baggy clothes, like, like her clothes looked like she was in a garbage bag because that's how baggy they was. So she like, oh, that's what you drinking on, huh? I'm, I'm fake, I'm fake lit, like, yeah, I'm buzzed right now, I'm good, like. She like, I'm like, you want something? She like, nah, I'm good. So you're not gonna get lit with me? She like, nah, I'm good. Like, I ain't gonna stay too hard to go home and all that. Like, I just came to make sure you were straight. I'm like, well, all right, I'm fake lit, mind you, I'm fake lit. So, I'm trying to draw her in, you feel me? She like, you really lit like this? Like. How much did you drink? So I said, I drank enough. Why you think I'm still in the crib? She, he, then she's like, what happened with Shorty? What happened with Shorty? I'm like, she's on her BS, man. You know, the bickering and arguing. And so, no, it's a, she's talking about you. And I'm always with you and the bro. Like, I told her, ain't nothing between us. You the, you, you the bro. Like, you the bro. Like, you feel me? Like, you don't like what I got. You like what you got. She ain't going to believe it. She ain't going to believe it. So, I'm just like, yo, I'm out. I ain't going to argue with you. I saved the argument for another time. I gave her some bullshit story. So, I'm laying down. I fake knocked out. She like, yo, yo, yo. I'm like, yo. She's like, yo, I thought you went to sleep on me. Thought you went to sleep on me. I'm like, nah, I'm just lit, man. I'm lit, man. I turn the music on, I'm getting lit. Uh-uh. You know, I start dancing with her and all that. She like, chill what you doing, chill what you doing. I'm like, yo, why your clothes so baggy, boy? Like, what, what, what's going on with you? She and like, I just do something on. I just do something on. I was like, all right, you good? She's like, yeah, I'm good. I say, yo, I don't think you're good. Your tension, your vibe right now is giving me negativity vibes. And I brought you to a positive vibe. You're supposed to have a sip of something. She's like, no, nah, I got to go back home. You ain't going to drive me. You drunk. I'm like, I'm going to be good if you need to go home. Or if not, I throw you some bread. You get in the Uber or something. So I give her a drink. She started drinking. I'm watching her drink now from the distance. Keeping my eye on her. She start feeling it now. She like, damn, I'm buzz, I'm buzz, I'm buzz, I'm buzz. An hour in, she she lit now, all on me like, I'm buzz, I'm buzz. I'm like, yo, you. She like laid across me like this, right? Her head is on, her head is on my shoulder. Her arm is like behind my neck, like, and I'm like, you good? Like, chat on her chest, pat on her chest. She like, yeah, I'm good. She took her other hand and just kind of like wiped me down. I'm like, yo, like you good? And when she did that, I, I ain't feel no bra. I'm like, she ain't got no bra on. And I felt the whole, I felt the whole breast. Like, I could grip it. And she kind of just, like, faded out, like, if she was sleep tight. Right? So, and I gripped it again. She's, oh, why are you doing that? And I'm like, yo. Stop. So, I'm like, I'm playing with her now. And I flicked her nipple. She's like, ah. She moaned. I'm like, yo. I'm saying to myself, nah, this ain't about to go down. This ain't about to go down. She like, what? What? Like, she she getting girly on me now. She getting real girly on me. I'm like, she, what? Like, I'm like, yo, why you got no bra on? I told you I was just rushing over here to see if you good. I just rush. Like, she kind of looked away when she said it. So I'm still testing the waters. She kind of like stood up over the over the dresser, put her head down. I thought she was about to fall. So I got up to see if she was gonna fall and I got behind her. And she kind of lifts her head up like this. As if I was gonna kiss her. I'm like, yo, she really I'm like, yo, Joe, you good? She like, yeah, why? She turned around now. 
that's when I caught on. Shorty like D. I'm like, yo, I thought you was into... She like... Then she had to really explain to herself, like, you know, some, sometimes I like dudes and sometimes I like girls. I'm like, yo, you bisexual. Just say that. You know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. I can't. And then she kind of got, like, shy and embarrassed because she was actually telling me. And she was like, I thought you was cute when I first seen you and this and then the third. And so I'm like, why sugarcoat it? Why hide it? You could have kept it up front with me. You feel me? Like, yo, I think you cute or whatever. Like, I could have just told you, nah, I look at you like the bro and kept it friends because, you know, sex will fuck up a relationship, a friendship. You know what I mean? Then on top of that, you had a whole situation. You had a whole girlfriend and all that. And she was like, wow, why you why you asking me all this? Because it's throwing me off when I mention my shorty and you, and you want to do other things. Like, she's like, I know, I know, like, and she kind of just like, was just like, damn, like she was embarrassed by the whole situation. And she was like, yo, I got a dip. Like she was embarrassed and she dipped. She left right at the hotel. I'm like, for all that, I should have just smashed. I should have just smashed that little day coochie, man. Oh man. After that, um, we ain't really linked. Uh, we didn't really link like that. I still got on social media, but it's awkward now for her. I guess for me, to me, it's not. We didn't do anything. You know what I mean, she got real. I guess she got real scared that I knew because she liked me. Whatever you know how girls get when they scared and they shy, and you really know them. So it is what it is. But you know, I'm gonna try to reach out to her this summer. Like, yo, you good? Like, I'm gonna call you. Like, I ain't speak to you in a good minute. I ain't speak to her since last summer. You feel me? Plus, this winter was a wild, hot, cold. So, but hopefully, we we see where it goes. We see where it goes.